Good morning dear friends. It is a very good day for us to live and serve the Lord. And um, greetings to all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us spend this uh, few minutes before we get into activities of this day in the presence of the Lord meditating on his word. Today's meditation is a continuation of yesterday. We are thinking and looking into two dwelling places of God, two palaces of God, based on Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15. Let me read it to you to refresh your memory. God says, I live in a high and holy place, but also with him who is contrite and lowly in spirit. Yesterday we meditated on the first of God's dwelling place, his palace. God himself says, I live in a high and holy place. The second palace in which God lives is, God says, I also live with him who is contrite and lowly in spirit. And lowly means humble. Humility is acknowledging God as the only source of your blessing. I have nothing which I have not received from the Lord. Here we also have a revelation of a man's greatness. That man is set apart from other creatures in superiority Man is uh, above the rest of all God's creations. How fearfully and wonderfully I have been made in my mother's womb. Psalmist says, I am God's wonderful, marvelous handiwork. Man's greatness is consisted of two things. To have God dwelling in me or in us, thus impart his character in us. That is the blessing of God living within us. When God is there, what is imparted on us is his character, his nature and his love. What a blessing it is, my friends. So don't take it very lightly, this verse. I also dwell in any heart that is contrite and humble. The, to have God dwelling in us is the greatest blessing and which is amazing indescribable how this mighty creator God could come in and live in my body and thus impart upon me his character transforming me to be like him for well, that is the greatest desire of God concerning you and concerning me The second thing is to have God so dwelling in us that we recognize his presence and know that we are his and that he is ours. We sing that chorus, the children enjoy singing it. I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. His banner over me is love. God does not dwell with the wise because he is wise, so because of his wisdom. Not with the great because of his greatness. Not with the rich because of his richness, riches. And not with the poor because of his poverty but with all 
whether he is whether he is rich or wise or great and poor he dwells with those who possess a contrite and humble spirit the broken heart that is the only condition in humility and in that brokenness you come to god and this god who dwells otherwise in a high and lofty place by his spirit he comes down when he sees the broken and contrite spirit and enter in and makes his dwelling in us isn't that wonderful my friends if god is in you no other power can disturb your inner peace and joy because you know who lives in you god resists the proud but give grace to the humble that is first peter chapter 5 verse 5 my friends if god start resisting you or resisting me where do we stand we will have no standing anywhere so let us do our best and what we need to do in order to have a god living in us always with that humility with that realization that i am unworthy for this worthy god to be within me you know peter exhorts us to tie the cloth of humility on ourselves in order to be identified as believers in christ as we act humbly toward others and to receive god's grace and help and when humanity fell into sin satan became the ruler of this world he dominates the whole world today which you read in the first john chapter 5 verse 19 and he is the commander of a host of evil spirits through whom he enslaves people and uh, as captives to all kinds of bad and evil habits including pride i want you to take note of these things my friends so that you can always find favor with god because if there is pride in us we shall not find any favor with god and the real exaltation comes not from the south north or east or west neither do it does it come from man the real exaltation comes from the lord and you humble yourself under the mighty arms of god and in due time he will exalt you Don't be in a hurry. Many people are in a hurry to become great leaders. And in the process what they do is to pull down the existing leader though there is no fault in him. But simply because he wants to be the leader. That is pride. And anyone who exalts himself and to project himself as the better re- leader or great leader i want to occupy that position and i don't stop any stone unturned until i become the leader you know god will pull you down remember that 
those who understand this can by the grace of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit will overcome and find favor of the Lord and by the Spirit dwells in those who are clothed with humility. And this is the key to your promotion by God himself. God always looked for humble people to use them. And when you walk in humility before God, your exaltation goes higher and higher. And the more high you go, the more humble you become. And therefore, your standing before God and also before men shall be amazing and great. But you don't give any credit to yourself for any promotion or any, any, any exaltation that comes. But you will acknowledge always that God and God alone is the source of all my blessing. And may the Lord bless you as you walk humbly before the Lord and receive from him his favor. Seek his favor. And if you have his favor, you will not lack anything in life. God's blessing be upon you. Father, this morning, I pray for everyone who listened and who will listen later on as well through YouTube or Facebook. Let the Spirit of God move upon their hearts and lives that they shall walk humbly before you and receive exaltation from you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.